Hello, this is Maker J, and I'm going to be showing you my Sterling engine and some of the parts I used for it. Alright, so I guess we'll start off with the displacer. The displacer is made out of steel wool, um, sandwiched between two pieces of aluminum screen, and that is JB welded onto the displacer rod. So that's pretty simple. And then I guess we'll move on to the displacer chamber. And that is just a tuna can, and I used, and I, when I cut it, when I opened the can, I was, sh I made sure I left this lip on here, okay, it's, and there's no sharp edges or anything on here, and I polished that up very good so that it would seal to this, um, this, um, RTV silicone that I put on here, and that is my seal, so that, when it's bolted, when it's connected on here, that makes a very good seal to the silicone. So this, the rim, is then for, this goes in this sheet of aluminum with eight holes in it, which match up to these holes. So this is placed through here. It's a pretty tight fit. I cut it with the, uh, with the reciprocating saw. I cut everything with a reciprocating saw and then I ground it so that the hole in this aluminum was perfect. Perfectly matched to tuna can. Now this will bolt with these little nuts here. Nuts and bolts. It'll bolt onto this here. So there's a really good seal. So now the displacer rod, the displacer rod and this um, the displacer, the part that it slides through, I'm not sure what it's called. Those two parts came from a CD or DVD drive. Similar to this one, but the one I, that I got it from, this part here was metal. So this shaft here is this shaft here, or one of these rods. And this part, this part, this part that it slides on right here, that part right there is would be this part, but this one is plastic, so this one wouldn't work as well. It would work, but it would probably wear out pretty fast. But these, because they're designed to, that's what they're designed to do, is slide back and forth, they work very well for this. And there's barely any air escapes when you get, when you put some oil on it. So, yeah, so this slides very easily through here, with almost no friction. Well, it's dry right now, there's no oil on it, so that's why it's a little noisy right now. But if you put some oil on there, it would be really silent. So, now I guess we'll move on to the, uh, the diaphragm. The diaphragm is made out of a piece of rubber glove, and that is sandwiched between two um, drain pipe fittings. So, I can take it off if I want to and replace the diaphragm. It's not like glued on there or anything. And then I've got here a little valve which was from a like a valve manifold from a um, aquarium system. That is for because this engine is sealed so well when you s first start heating it up the air in there starts expanding and pushes out the diaphragm. The air has nowhere to go so it pushes out the diaphragm when the diaphragm is being pushed out like that, you can't start it. So once it's heated up a few minutes, you open this valve, or actually that's open, to let the air out, and then close it again, and then it'll start. So, yeah, so that makes it easier to start, so you don't have to wait a long time for the air to escape from it. Alright, so now I guess we'll move on to the, well, it actually in between here because this is pretty much it the heat is conducts up this metal and then connects to this aluminum and because this is so close to this the heat from here conducts to here and heats up your cold side so that makes it less efficient so I decided to put this um, paper towel pieces of paper towel to insulate it in between these so now that goes on there and it makes a uh, it doesn't conduct the heat from here up to here. Alright, so now the flywheel is just three 
um, hard drive discs and I've got a pulley on here for my generator which the generator just bolts on here and then I've got just some rubber bands to go from the generator to the flywheel or the pulleys um, the aluminum all this aluminum that I have here that I used on this it's well all of the gold stuff is all one piece it was from this um, uh, some kind of a box I took apart the lid from it and then the other the silver piece is from I don't know what it's from probably the, another piece of that and that works very well it's probably about 1.5 millimeter thick um, the the linkage here is all made out of uh, just pieces of copper and copper wire and um, wire connector thingies and these ones are drilled out so that it can swivel on there and also the bearings are made from uh, smaller ones that fit these shafts perfectly so see that spins for a long time on there um, and I also cut these fins in here so that it, the heat moves up here and then when you put the fan on it cools it a little bit so it basically self-cools itself yeah so that's about it thanks for watching